your camera and we will line up make sure my my video is a little off today i'm not sure what's uh, this is as high as it'll go all right guys thank you so much for coming through uh we have my amazing Uki Beth tonight so when we get a little lost, remember that she'll be running the same technique you are. Uh, and I say that because tonight is, we'll see how we go, how, how we feel with the position. I want to get back into like that technical mount position, but probably get there a little different way. All right, so we'll just see how it goes. And if you have questions, please holler at me. If it's difficult to see, let me know. Uh, most of this you guys are already really familiar with. I just want to start piecing together chunks of the chain that we've been working on these last few weeks, right? So get a little more movement in tonight's class, right? So not a lot of stuff you don't know, just a lot of stuff, all right? We'll bow in, and let's hit the floor. Let's warm up a little bit. Remember, go easy on the carpet. Don't make your neighbors mad. Perfect. We'll start off with some break falls. Nothing too fast. Nice and easy, 30 seconds here. Let's warm up our back. Perfect. Nice. 10 seconds. Uh-oh. My dog really dislikes break falls. That's why you don't hear us clapping, they're real quiet. She still gets a little irritated with it. It's like she knows we're doing it. And let's switch to triangles. Hips to the sky. Alternating the lock. Nice. <laughs> and now she doesn't like triangles. She's a disgruntled employee. <laughs> she doesn't like anything. <laughs> And let's switch to our Kimuras. Watch the space if you're with a partner. No headbutts. Good work. Ten seconds here. Hopefully you're starting to get a little warm. Back's feeling a little better. A lot of passing tonight, so let's make sure our back is loose. Nice and uh, ready to go. Let's go with our bridging. Remember, open up that instep on the side that you're gonna bridge. Nice, easy pace. Reach in where we're looking. Good work. Ten seconds. And let's switch to our shrimping. On our side, remember, watch out for your partner. They're probably pretty close because of the camera. You don't want to headbutt nobody. Good work. Getting all the way on our side for our shrimps. Keep those frames in play. 10 seconds. Slow it down. Oh, yeah, you gotta get that shrimp going, bro. This is dead. Uh. Nice. And let's turtle up. Last one. Sit out. You know what's up. Your favorite one, huh, Purple Bell? Yeah. <laughs> Hands and toes. Slide that left leg through, right elbow to your hip, looking straight up at the ceiling. Sit out, let's go. 30 seconds. I don't care how fast you go, just don't stop. Ooh, over halfway, keep it up.
three, two, 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 one. Nice job. Whew. All right, guys. So we already know a few different passes that we've been working on Zoom. We've been working on our leg drags, our toriandos. So I would like to kind of review those. And hold on. There she goes. Watch out, puppy. Beth is going to help us. So I'm gonna put her on the spot a little bit. She's got a bigger amount as I talk them out. But you know all this. First, the Toriando pass. Feet to floor. Yeah, we don't have a gang of space, so you have to remember that when you do this, you wanna back up a little bit from your partner's feet, disconnect from the guard. As you go to your left, your left knee hits, your left shoulder lawn darts him in the chest. From here, now, some of us, this might be new, so remember, we'll go through it a couple times. Remember that the bottom player, you're gonna club the head. So you're gonna go scoop up the head and you're gonna bring it to our other hip. Cause you're gonna try to shrimp away from here. But notice how, slow down for a little bit. Notice how Beth has her left hand in the floor. Her right hand is hugging my legs. Her forehead's on the mat because her head became a post. She's got a tripod up, and now she can float to the other side. She might walk to the other side. I'm not picky on how you get there, but we're exploiting this back exposure, right? Now my partner's gonna turn and face. So if you're new, you just stand up and go back to the guard. If you've got a partner that knows how to regard, frame, remember we're using our A frames, so that means you're making a, I don't know, like a weird triangle or Illuminati, whatever you're into. Just right on the shoulder meets the bicep. Because as long as she never gets a hold of my head, I'm still alive, right? I'm not really stuck here. Frame, bridge. Remember when you bridge to face your partner so your hips have somewhere to go when you shrimp. Switch our feet over the top so I can bring my bottom leg through. Now, we'll rotate back this way. After our Toriando pass, we'll go into our leg drag. We'll shuffle to the right. Pause. Remember that we're gonna have a hand on the hip when we practice this style drag, because we're gonna walk the guard. We walk to the left, we walk to the right, into the leg drag. Now from here, the first time you leg drag, your partner's gonna try to push you away. So you push their hands to their chest. You straighten your left leg, your free leg, and you try not to kick their face off as you high step over the top. Now, once you step through, you're gonna hunt the underhook because you're gonna baseball slide down their leg. Notice how Beth catches the overhook from modified case katana. From here, Beth will go to north-south by stepping over the head. Now, Beth will back step and she ends up in case Katami on the other side. Everybody feel good with that so far? Now from here, she'll go to side control. We still have our A frames. We bridge, we shrimp, we switch our feet. Now this time, when she stands up, I kick her away. Stand up in base, jujitsu style. All right, so Beth, you can take a break, we'll lay down. I know it's a lot of ones, but you know everything. So let's run it together. Junior student, lay down. Senior student, you're gonna go through the reps with me. Perfect. First rep, our Toriando, double pants grips. Remember, if you have a gi dummy with no legs, man, no worries. We're just gonna use our hands, post them on the pillow itself. Feet to floor, shuffle to the left. Remember, both feet shuffle. You gotta get all the way over here. Since we went left, my left knee hits, my left shoulder lawn darts. Our partner, junior student, grab the melon and push their head to the floor. So they end up with their head on the same side as their knees. That's great for us, because now my left hand will post, my head becomes a post, 
like you're a youngin and you're about to do a headstand. Your right hand stays hugging the legs. Tripod, hop over to the other side. Now, if your partner knows how to regard, do it. Frame, bridge, shrimp, put your feet, regard. We'll hop up. And now we'll run the leg drag. Right hand to the hip. Left hand pants grip. Shuffle to the left. Now shuffle to the right, pushing that leg over. End up in the drag. Your junior student, push them away. Senior student, pin the hands to their belly. Now our left leg's gonna straighten. Try not to kick off their face as our left leg comes over the top. I'm gonna curl it pretty tight, heel to my knee. Now I got time to go left arm underhook. And my left hip starts to baseball slide to the mat. Remember, your right hand's gonna pull up on the sleeve so you can get your hip right into their armpit. This makes it really easy for us to push the hand down. Step our right leg over the face, north out. Bring our right elbow to the other hip so we can back step that left leg. Modified case Katami on the other side. Now again, my partner's gonna frame, bridge, shrimp, switch their feet. I'm gonna stand. They're gonna go both feet to my hips and kick me away. Beth will stand up in base, jiu-jitsu style. Now, if you have a gi dummy, obviously they're not gonna be able to finish the last part of the drill. No worries, you get to just keep running through the passes. Senior students, do we have any questions? Thumbs up, you feel good? All right, let's clap it out. Let's try it on three. Ready, one, two. Work time. Remember, if you get lost, Beth will be behind us running the same passes using the dummy, so you can just hop in on her reps. All right, first is the Toriando. We shuffle, wand dart to the floor. They're gonna push our head to the same side as our knees. So we're gonna do a headstand, tripod up, and walk over to the other side. Right, right, right. Now they're gonna regard, frame, bridge, shrimp away, switch their feet, bring in their bottom knee, and now we're gonna leg drag. Right hand on the hip, left hand pants grip, shuffle to the left. Now as you do that, you're gonna start shuffling back to the right with their leg in front of our knee. We end up in the leg drag. They're gonna push us away, we're gonna push their hands to their belly. Now our left leg is gonna straighten, and it's gonna start sliding over their face until that heel hits our knee. Nice, now we're gonna go left hand underhook. We're gonna start baseball sliding down their thigh. And as our hip goes to the floor, our right hand's gonna pull out their near side frame, letting us go to modified case katami. From here, we push that hand down, step over the head for north south. Nice. From here, we take our right elbow over the belly and we back step into Case Katami on the other side. Perfect. They're gonna regard. You go to side control, they frame, bridge, shrimp, switch their feet, regard. When you stand, they're gonna kick you away. They're gonna stand up in base. Very nice, my friends. Remember, it's still the senior student this whole round. Keep going, keep going. Nice work, Juan. Hey, nice passes. Remember, this isn't about speed. I'm just looking for fluidity, right? That's a tough word for me to say. Fluidity. Smooth. I'm looking for smooth because smooth will become fast. Not because you want it to, but because it naturally can flow with speed, right? So it's gonna take some time. Find a rhythm rather than a pace. Nice, Rich. Perfect. Yep, head to the floor. Hop over to the other side. Yes, very nice, buddy. Good work. Hey, yeah. Coach Jake knows these passes. Very nice, my friend.
<laughs> Jenna, it looks like your pup is helping. <laughs> That's awesome. Trying to get some reps in, mom. Nice, Ben. Really nice high step. Find our underhook. Yes, baseball slide through. Good work, my friends. Nice job, Koji. Keep up that pace. Hair malfunction. And time. Good work, my friends. Let's switch. Bottom to top. Bottom to top. Junior student, you run through it with me and Beth. Take your time, but kind of use us as a reference if anything feels a little sticky. Okay? So it starts off straight to work, junior students. Toriando pass, hands grips. Feet to floor, shuffle to your left. Left knee down, left shoulder in their chest. From here, your partner is gonna scoop up your head and push it to the floor on the same side as your legs. You're gonna post your left hand on the mat, your right hand's just hugging legs. You're gonna tripod up and walk over the legs, hunting the back exposure on the other side. They're gonna turn and face, frame. Bridge, shrimp, switch our feet, bring in our bottom knee, regard. Now it's time for the leg drag, junior students. Right hand on the hip, left hand pants grip, shuffle to the left. Now shuffle to the right. Staple our right knee in the leg drag. Remember your left leg's nice and long. Make sure you're staying heavy in this position. You're so heavy that they're gonna try to push you off. So we push their hands to their chest. Straighten our left leg. And now, be really careful. I can't cook, kick out nobody's chiclets, but your left leg's gonna go over the face. And it's like you're gonna curl your left heel to your knee. That gives you stability. So your left hand can go under hook. You're gonna lean forward. Right hand over hook. And you're gonna baseball slide that left hip to the mat, ending up in a position we call modified case katana. From here, your right elbow is going to swing over. Your right leg is going to step over. North, south. You move your left arm. Back step your left leg. Modify case katami on the other side. They're going to go to side control, senior students. So now it's your turn to frame, bridge, strip away, switch your feet, bring in your bottom knee. And now this time, junior student, you're going to crowd so they can kick you away. Stand up in base. Break, fall, run it again. Junior students, do we have any questions? You guys feel pretty good with that? Thumbs up. Come on now. I see you. Perfect. Alex, how do you feel? Could we see the uh, leg drag one more time there, Professor? We got a bit lost on you. Perfect. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it together, okay? Everybody else, get to work. Get to work. You know it. Junior students, your turn. Ah, so... Alex, in the leg drag, we're going to go right hand to the hip, and our left hand is going to stay on that outside pants grip. We're going to shuffle to the left. And when you do that, your goal is to push their knee to the floor so now their foot falls off your hip. That way, as you start to walk back to your right, you're going to pick up on the knee, but since their foot's on the outside of our body, our legs start pushing through the back of their knees until we get our left knee high, where it's still up, right? It's holding you up. Your right knee staples the floor. It staples down their left inner thigh, and that will stick us to the drag, right? And then from here, we push the hands down, high step over, find your underhook, and just slide down that high step. Ugh. Does that make sense, buddy? Uh-oh, the, the uh, yes, it was good? All right, perfect, thank you, my friends. Back to it, back to it. Brady, what's up, man, good to see you. Yeah, yeah, get to work, youngin', you know these. Nice, Jay, underhook, slide through, good work. Remember, it's a lot of movements. Let's try not to hold our breath. Let's keep our pace going. 
But again, for my junior students, the pace is less important than the rhythm, right? I want you to find your rhythm with your movements. Who cares if you get 100 reps or two reps? Doesn't matter. What I care about is the quality of your technique, right? So find your rhythm, find the flow to your movements. The speed will come. It'll be a byproduct of you hitting all the notes at the right time. Perfect. Can you please go through that again? I just got here. All right, Braden, hop up for me, buddy. I'll talk you through it, okay? All right, perfect. It's first is a Toriando pass. Double pants grips, shuffle to the left, and we're going to put our left knee down, left shoulder down. Yes. And now let's move our head to the same side as our knees because we're going to tripod up and hop over to the other side. Yeah, very nice, Braden. Now let's hop back up because our partner would regard here. If we're using a stuffy buddy, we'll just stand back up in the guard because we're going to run a new pass. Perfect. Now we'll go for the leg drag. Right hand on the hip, left hand pants grip, shuffle to the left. Perfect. And now as you shuffle back to the right, push their leg through for the leg drag. Nice. Now from the leg drag, let's pin both their hands to their chest. Let's straighten our left leg. Throw our left leg over the head. Nice. Find that left hand underhook. Baseball slide to Case Katana. Nice, Braden. Good work, Cody. Now from here, let's go to north-south. Step over. Perfect. And now let's back step modified Case Katami on the other side. Perfect. And if you had a partner, here's where they would regard and kick you away. If not, we'll hop back up, run it all over again, buddy. Start back with the Torianda. Good work, my friend. Hey, no, my Uki's taking a break. Come on, Uki. She hasn't done nothing. Come on now, Uki. I'm doing the work. <gasps> 30 more seconds, my friends. Keep up the pace. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. I feel old today. Perfect. Nice work, Thomas and Emily. Very nice. Ten seconds. Try to finish this rep. Wherever you are in the chain, try to finish. And time. Good work, my friends. Whew. Okay, so catch our breath for a second, right? I would like to go back to our leg weave pass and just run it a little differently, right? Nothing, nothing too crazy. On Monday, we looked at finding our way into the mount. And then from the mount, getting them up on their side and attacking that sneaky Ezekiel. Today, we'll run that same idea, but we're going to get there slightly different. Okay, just not a huge change, but definitely some difference. So remember, don't forget the flow. We'll come back to the flow in a second. But for right now, we'll just do the one pass, the leg weave. So we start in headquarters, right foot in the middle. We sit on their right foot. We have a pants grip with our left hand, a collar grip with our right hand. Now remember guys, we're taking that left knee and driving it into the back of that hamstring. Senior students, we're also picking up on the collar. So this is how I stay sat up here. Because if I was just trying to hold a normal squat by myself, uh, I'm not very flexible, right? It's hard for me, I'm up on my toes. I feel super off balance. So just sitting on the foot isn't really comfortable for me. But if I'll get the collar grip and use them like a counterweight to where now when I sit down, she's kind of holding me up in the squat. It's much easier for me. It's much more uncomfortable for the guard player. Yes. Without her shoulders on the floor, it's very hard for her to articulate her hips, right? She can't swing into any sort of momentum positions because she can't put her shoulders on the mat. Her hips are off the mat because of our knee and her hamstring. She's kind of just stuck here, right? 
And this is why we have a little bit of time to walk our right leg out, drop our left knee in the hole, and find the leg weight. From here, guys, we've been working on an underhook, our forehead nice and low on the shoulder. Now we're gonna hunt the cross face. The cross face at first can feel a little bit like it's not there because she can take her left hand, pummel inside, and get on top of our bicep, right? But uh, our left hand, I'd like to get a grip with this underhook, maybe even in the collar. Oh man, if I get the collar, like, I uh, really hard to get rid of us at this point, right? Now, she's gonna have her hand on her bicep, but I'm not really worried about that. I just gotta take my time with it. My right foot's gonna come out, posting nice and far to give me good base, because now my right hand's gonna leave. And we've looked at a few different options. We've looked at picking it up, putting our knee in and making our way to the mouth. We've looked at it's being out kind of wide and we're driving our knee hot and attacking the truck. Tonight I would like to look at it as, let's just re-pummel. Okay, so she's gonna pummel the bicep. We're gonna let go of the collar, pummel inside. And now from here, it's like I'm gonna be a rock on the water. I'm gonna skip off the bicep straight to the cross face. Now, once the cross face is on, we still have all the other options. We still can make mount, we still can find the lock now. But we're gonna go a little different way. We're gonna take our right foot, egg beater it back behind their top leg. So instead of scooping it up for lockdown, we're gonna come behind and get it long. Now from here, best body is designed to fight forward, right? So from her middle half back, her, there's nothing really to defend. That's why I won on the back so bad, right? So the guard players, like the first thing they have is their legs. With the legs trapped and with us effectively behind the legs, I have easy access to the back, okay? So this is my person, I'm a big fan of the leg track, the crab ride games, especially for our competitors. If we can get behind the knees, we can get to the back, okay? So here's just the way that we're doing that from our passing, but this is a concept that I like all of us to really play with uh, when we're thinking about our jiu-jitsu. Get behind the knees, easy peasy to the back, right? So from here, let's remember what we have. We have the back of the heel with our shin, so we're stretching out her top leg. We were in a cross face and an underhook, so like a far side pin of this shoulder. This person is getting stretched out, right? So be careful if you're with the young. I don't want to hurt anybody. But in a competition, you're probably going to have to walk this right leg high while you keep this shoulder pin, because now your left foot's going to walk out. And here we go. We're going to start hunting the back. Now, guys, since this is a movement you all have been like vaguely familiar with, I'd like to show a pretty advanced attack from you. Our left knee is going to come high. It's eventually going to make it to the hairline, but her arms got to get out of the way. So our grips, we're going to go right hand, back of the hand to the floor. So palm up. Our left hand is palm down. We're going to use our hands to make a push-up motion. So I don't keep my elbows on the floor. It won't work. I push on the mat and I get my arms straight. Notice how as I get my arm straight, her hand starts to slide in front of my face. Now, can we go back? The, the resistance, right? So, did I spread it? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. I'm so sorry. All right, so when we lean into this, it's much more powerful. So it's not just going to be our arm straightening. It's going to be our arm straightening and us leaning forward. Now, that by itself is a little bit of a difficult thing to master. So a lot of reps, a lot of practice. I'm gonna ask you to do something else while you're doing that difficult thing. I'm gonna ask that all your weight be in your hands so your left knee can slide up the back and so your right foot can step off and move into that heel to belly button technical mount position because we're gonna go right to our chairs, okay? So we're here, we're in the pan, 
I'm going to put my hands down, my right hand, back of my right hand on the floor, my left hand, palm to palm. I'm going to do a push up, straightening my arms, leaning forward, shucking her arm by. As I do that, my left leg's going to slide up. So notice how much, like, it's not even on the camera anymore, it's so far past her hairline. I want to get way past the hairline. That will help me with my left leg. Because now with my, or my right leg, with my left hip so far forward, my right leg has no weight on it. So when I straighten it, it's super light, and it'll pull right to the ribs. Okay? So it's kind of like the step over we were doing from the leg drag, just in a different direction. If your hands were connected, you're ready to rock and roll. You're going to pull that left elbow to your hip, sit to your left hip. Now remember, if I wait here, she can defend. I switch to my right side and pick her up, and we end up on the back. Now, once we're on the back, guys, we went over this a lot the first few weeks, but I just want to remind some of our senior students, because that's who I like to try this. Junior students, once you end up on the underhook side, just keep your head between theirs and the floor. Get a collar grip, collar grip, finish. Senior students, let's see the straight jacket you've been working on. So they're going to defend the grips. Your left hand's going to get the bottom wrist. Your right hand's going to roll under. Get the top wrist. Push down and up with that right hand to expose the elbow. It allows my left heel to latch on. My right hand will switch to the bottom wrist. Now my left hand is free for chokes. It might be collar. It might be rear naked vampire style. Remember, if you vampire, that's the whole point. Your chin's got to be on your wrist, on their neck. Perfect. All right. So remember that the, the last part, the straight jacket control and all that, that's for our upper belts. If that's new for you, don't even worry about it. If you're on the back, finish with a choke. Okay, so junior student lay down, senior student stand up. Let's do one together. We're not ready yet. Okay. Ain't no claps till you ready, Pearl Bell. Ready. How many classes do you have? All right, so headquarters. We're going to sit on their right legs. So your right foot's in the middle, your left foot's on the outside. Left hand pants grip, right hand collar grip, left knee in the hamstring. Remember, pick up on that grip a little bit. Get their shoulders up. They'll feel very different to the guard player. Start walking to the right, both legs. Drop your left knee in the hole. Now here we go, left hand underhook. Lean forward, forehead in their shoulder. Junior student, they're gonna frame your bicep with their right, or they're gonna frame your right hand with their left hand. So senior student, you're gonna let go of the collar. But first, you're going to step up that right leg. So you can be really strong and heavy here. Now my right hand can let go. Pummel inside. Bounce off the bicep. Cross face. We're far side pan, so let's connect our hands. And now, with my upper body staying forward, my right leg is going to curl to my butt. Egg beater behind their foot that we have on top, right? The leg we weaved. So now my left knee can slide up the back. Now from here, guys, we're going to do a push-up. Use the back of our right hand on the mat. Use our palm-to-palm -palm grip. Straighten your arms and lean forward. Notice how their arm will shut by right in front of your face. At the same time, your left knee is going to slide to the hairline. Your right leg is going to straighten and slide over their hips into the chair sit technical mount. Left hip hits the floor. Pull them into your lap. Right hip hits the floor. I want to be on the underhook side of back control, everybody. Perfect. Now from here, junior students, left hand grabs the collar, right hand grabs the collar, finish. Senior students, your left hand is going to grab their right wrist. Your right hand is going to let go and roll under your left wrist. And you're going to grab their left wrist. Now we're gonna push their left wrist to their belly button, but also float their elbows. So it's like a 45 degree push. Because your left leg is gonna hook over their arm. Now guys, pause for a second and just listen for me. 
Some of us, this is going to feel like a flexibility thing. It's not, I promise. Instead, if you feel like your left leg can't hook at the arm, take your left foot, push their hips down, get that right leg over the belt. Now my left leg, it's an angle thing, right? It's not a flexibility thing. With my right leg across the belly like a bar on the roller coaster, now my left leg can hook heel to their elbow, kick it down. Now I like to take my right foot and crisscross over my left foot so now they never get that left arm back. Right hand, go get their bottom wrist. Sometimes you'll see guys play the pinky grip here. I'm down for that. Just make sure you're on the fat pad of the palm and not their actual pinky. My left hand is free for the choke. Either a collar choke or chin to my hand, the vampire rear naked. All right. A lot of jujitsu, but definitely jujitsu you know. Does anybody have any questions? You guys feel good? Thumbs up, we feel good? Awesome. All right, my friend, senior student, you're going to go first. You got the whole round. Remember, it starts in the headquarters pass. Let's clap it out on three. Ready? One, two. War time. There we go. Starts in the headquarters. We have a left hand pants grip, right hand collar grip. We're going to shuffle, shuffle, shuffle to the right. Perfect. Like we're going to push their legs together. Very nice. Your left knee falls in the hole like a staple. Now our left hand underhook. Our right foot steps up so our right hand can cross face. Nice. Now remember, if you're with a smaller partner or someone who's new to jiu-jitsu, let's not smush them too bad here. Perfect. Once you have the cross face, your right foot is going to egg beater behind their top leg. Perfect. And now we have nothing stopping us from shuffling towards the back. So our left knee is going to slide up the spine. We're going to do a push up and shuck their arm in front of our face. Remember, you'll probably have to lean forward to get that to work. And now from here, we're in the technical mount position because your left knee is going to keep sliding to the hairline. Your right leg is going to step over the belly. We're going to sit back to our left hip, immediately to our right hip. And we end up in the underhook of back control. You got mad options from here, my friends. I'd like to see the collar choke if you're new. I'd like to see all the straight jacket control if you remember it. Very nice. Good work. Ooh, my, my screens are all really small. Is that Shalane? Shalane, is it your turn, my friend? Nice. All right, keep going, buddy. I'm just trying to watch. Good cross face. Shuck that arm by. Yes. Step over. Perfect. Really nice, my friend. Senior students, once you're through the straight jacket control, I'm totally down for you to add the triangle from the back as well. Something that we've went over, though not everybody may remember it, okay? So don't make it a, you don't gotta make it too messy. Stay with what you remember. Remember that if you are gonna try the back, from the, the triangle from the back, you'll wanna switch your hips. Nice, Jenna, very nice. Remember guys, if you get lost, best right behind us, we're under the same chain. Leg weave, technical mount, chair sit, back attack. Good work. You're gonna end up on that underhook side, but that's a good thing. We feel really good right there. We got mad chokes and arm bars, triangles. Nice work. Very nice, Ben. <laughs> Watch out for my pup. <laughs> you want to say hi to the jiu-jitsu people? I hope so, hmm? Say hi, Easton. Hi, Easton. Oh, he's camera shy. All right, I'll come down. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Rich. Very nice. Oh, there he is. Say hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Good work, Alex. I know this is a little new for us, man. You guys are doing great. Nice job, Kevin. 
Get a little smushed, Ethan. You'll be all right, buddy. I promise. Dad's going to take care of us there. Hey, good work, Soros. Very nice. Good to see you guys. And time. Good work, senior students. Junior student, it's your turn. So, right to work. Leg drag pass. Nope. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let's go to headquarters. Junior student, right hand collar grip, left hand pants grip. And we're going to walk to the right. Drop your left knee in the hole. Left hand underhook. Right foot's going to step up. Right hand cross face. And now from here, we're going to egg beater our right foot behind our partner's top leg. Your left knee's going to start sliding up the back. You're going to do a push up, lean forward, shut their arm by so your left leg can get way up past the hairline and your right leg can step over your partner's legs into the technical down. Pull your left elbow to your belly. Pull your hands towards you as you sit to your left hip. Sit to your right hip. End up on the underhook side of back control. Perfect. All right, now, to so notice best leg, junior student, she's not quite in a position that her left leg would be able to trap the arm. So she's going to step on my hip. Notice it pushes my butt down, so I end up lower in the entanglement. It also pushes her hips high. So that double whammy gets her right leg across my belt. And now her left leg can go crazy high, right? Like all the way over the shoulder. If you're brand new to this, my friends, especially if my cats that are new to class, you're going to have your left wrist covered. Your left hand, oh, oh, oh. Your left hand's going to get a collar grip. Your right hand's going to let go of the wrist and get a cross lapel grip. Now pull that left elbow behind your pocket back. <laughs> and finish. If you know this position, go straight jacket. So you're going to go left hand to their right wrist, right hand rolls under to their left wrist, push their wrist down and up so your foot can hook the elbow. Now your right hand goes back to their right wrist, probably their pinky grip. Left hand grabs the collar and finish or rear naked choke vampire. Oh God. Burn it. Whew. Uh, I'm still alive. Okay. How you guys feel? Thumbs up? We're good here? All right. Let's get to work. Get to work, junior student. Alex, let's, let's hear your question, buddy. Yes, sir. If we, uh, can we go to the back and could you show that choke one more time? Jess hasn't done a, a choke with both collars like that from the back. Could you help us orient the hands? Absolutely. You guys want to go ahead and just hop in there? I can show you on me. And everybody else, if you're getting lost, best running the technique behind us. All right. So we're on the back. Perfect. So hopefully you can see me. There we go. You're going to have your left hand. It's under the armpit. Your right hand's over the shoulder. You're going to grab your right hand wrist with your left hand. Perfect. Now from here, I take my right thumb and I jam it into their chest, right? A little accordion thump here. Perfect. And now with that thumb in their chest, I'm gonna move my left hand just so you can see. My thumb is gonna rotate inside, right? Like I'm gonna stir, stir with my thumb. My thumb hooks the lapel. So this is all happening under our left hand. My right hand is now gonna use the cover of my left hand and climb up the collar like the world's craziest spider, right? He just really likes collar grips. Now my left hand can slide off. My left hand is gonna grab the other lapel, right? So anywhere you want on it, just get that other side. From here, you're gonna start pulling your right elbow behind Alex's head. At the same time, your left hand is gonna start pushing down. So we pull and push, choking with the lapel. He'll be able to feel it. You'll be able to feel it. He'll start turning red. You'll know when it's on. All right, good work, my friends. Let's run the whole chain. Jenna, you feel okay? Perfect, perfect. From the leg weave, my friends. Whoa, my light's going out on me. Good work. Oof. Nice. 
right, shuffle, shuffle. No, it's okay. We're about to run through the whole chain. And finish this rep, junior student. We're gonna run the whole thing. Good work, good work, good work, good work. Whew, be ready, it's off to the races. Here we go. And time, flip flop. Senior student, it's your turn. I want to run the whole thing, okay? So senior students, stand up. You're going to walk through the first one with me. First, it's the Toriandos. Disconnect, shuffle to the left. Wand arc. They're going to push our head over. Post your hand, post your head, tripod. Hop to the other side. They're going to regard. If you got a gi dummy, just stand back up. Now we'll go to the leg drag. Right hand on the hip. Left hand, pan grip, shuffle to the left, shuffle to the right, leg drag, push their hands to their belly, high step, under hook, baseball slide to the mat, step over the head, north south, bring your right elbow across, back step, case the guitar. From here, your partner will regard, frame, bridge, shrimp, we'll stand up. This time, they're not going to kick us away. Let's go headquarters. From headquarters, collar grip, hands grip, shuffle to the right. We're going to get a left hand underhook, right hand cross face. Take that right foot back behind their top leg. Shuffle your left knee behind the hips. Pinch press their arm over. Slide your left knee high, right leg over. Pull them into the back attack, back attack. And then from the back attack, you're on the underhook side. Finish with whatever you feel comfortable with. Collar choke. Straight jacket control. Collar choke. Vampire choke. Bottom to top. Bottom to top. Junior student, it's your turn. It's the whole chain. Be ready. Toriando. Shuffle to the left. Get your head pushed to the floor. Hop over. And regard. Stand back up. Let's run the leg drag. Hip grip, pants grip, shuffle, shuffle, leg drag. From here, we're going to push their hands to the floor. High step over, under hook, baseball slide. North, south, back step, case katami. And regard. Just stand up if you got a key dummy. And headquarters. Come on, you're doing great, junior student. Walk that right leg out, underhook, cross face, egg beater behind, shuffle, shuck their arm, left knee over the head, right leg over the belly, sit to the back in the chair, sit. You should be ending up on the underhook side. And now, junior student, let's go to our collar choke and finish. If you remember the straight jacket, get your wrist control, step on the elbow. And go back to the chokes. Very nice. Flip flop, back to work. Senior student, you're around. We're trying one for one here. 90 seconds, we're going quick. It's a lot of jujitsu. Man, think how much work you put in to know all this jujitsu. Very nice, my friends. Keep up. Keep it up. Nice, Rich. All right, here we go, Cody. Big chain, buddy. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm watching. I'm a fan right now, bro. Very nice. Yes, Good leg weave. Nice work, Koji. Keep up your rhythms. Remember, I don't care how fast you go, my friends. Just don't stop. No time to stop. Nice, Quan. Very nice. Perfect. All roads lead to us on the back. Finish. Finish. Good work. Nice, Jay. Very nice, Youngin. All right, Andrews, I'm going to trust you're doing great, man. Your ceiling looks fantastic, bro. Like, 
It's very, very nice. I bet your jiu-jitsu looks just as good. Nice, Jenna. Good work. I know the stuffy buddies. <laughs> They're doing the best they can, I promise. Hey, there's the Drews. What's up, my friends? Let me see, guys. Let me see your rep. Perfect. Nice, Dad. Really nice control. Perfect. Whew, I know you're getting tired. Try not to stop, my friends. You got 15 seconds. Look at what you can do, my friends. Nice high step. Hey, straight to north-south. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And time. Good work. Oh, my goodness. Very nice work, my friends. That was incredible. We'll fix our keys. We'll thank our partners. Good breaking, Ken. We'll break stuff in the living room. Man, thank you guys so much. That was, that was really fun to watch. <laughs> really fun to teach, but really fun to watch. Getting you, getting to see you run through things that like, you're familiar with, like starting to tie some systems together, seeing like uh, the overarching theme of where our jiu-jitsu is going, right? We're just constantly chasing that back exposure maximizing our offense while minimizing their offense and their defense yeah uh this is something that i think can take a long time to see right in my experience it, we can get so stuck on i need to know this rib i gotta know this guard like what's this crazy Tariko plata stuff like and we can get so focused on the tree that we forget we're in a forest right and i think that as we get more comfortable with where we are, it gets easier to relax a little bit, take a step back, right? I'm not constantly chasing being better than I was yesterday, I'm just trying to understand. And as I get to understanding jujitsu, I can see some concepts that are repeatedly a part of the process, right? And one of those main ones that I want everybody to take away from our time together on Zoom, that when you get back into your dojos and your training, I want this to be on our mind all the time chase the back right find the back i promise you'll land so many submissions when they're trying to defend you getting to their back right like there's when i will see the cool arm bars and triangles because you're threatening the back and their defense exposes them to submissions right just keeping that concept in our mind that our intention with what we're doing with our jiu-jitsu uh that that definitely bleeds out into the rest of my life as well, right? Like, uh, I really like the, the idea, is it going to matter in five years, right? Like, shoot, is it going to matter in five minutes? Yeah, I can get so focused on an event, like this activating event, that I forget about the forest, and I lose track of my intentions, right? So now I'm arguing about the trash or yelling at the dog. And, man, that's not how any of us want to be. That's not why we are where we are right? We just got a little stuck on the tree, right? I forgot where I was. So on and off the mats, our ability to see the bigger perspective, the concepts at play, man, invaluable, right? Invaluable. I don't care what rank you are or what you do in your life. Thank you guys so much for training. We appreciate you being on the mats with us. Remember, we have Zoom classes all the time. Coach Jake's been teaching the youngins, so I want to see you in your kids' classes too, right? Thank you guys for training. If I don't see you in Zoom tomorrow for Professor Elliot Snoke, then I will see you Saturday for a gee with us. Thank you guys so much. We'll bow out.